if I throw this in the fire just like it is, it might heat up really fast. So it'll be hot on one side and cold on the other side and crack. So I'm thinking if I wrap it with some paper, then I'll just give it a bit of insulation for long enough, hopefully for it to gradually heat up evenly. I don't know what I'm doing here. But I'm just doing it. I can just stuff these in there. Alright, it's pretty much died down in there. So let's go for it. Alright, sticks! All right, I'm going to put one brick down at the bottom there and one on the top here, maybe held up by a steel rod or something. Or maybe I can just fit it across there. Anyway, let's try this. Uh, I guess I'll put a holy one Ooh. and a solid one down here. I left the two bricks down there on the coals for about an hour and then the other two bricks up here. And then I stacked all four bricks down here, two like this and then two on top of them. And just piled this full of wood. And I didn't light it, and I'm just letting it slowly heat up on its own. It looks like it did just light in there. It's been about 15 minutes since I put all that wood in there. And there's a brick. So we'll see how that does. I have not heard any pops yet, so that's a good sign. Man, the wind is coming in this way. Blowing the fire nice and hot. I heard another pop, and it's this tile out here. Cracking. So I've heard two pops and there's two cracks. So hopefully the bricks are still okay in there. Looks like the fire is cranking up pretty good in there. I think it has enough wood to go for a while, so I'm just going to forget about it. And then hopefully later I'll come back and there will be some bricks. Hopefully. Well, either way, I'm going to get more information from my ceramic learnings. Whoa! Oh, I can see a brick in there. It looks totally intact. Oh, and the one at the back does too. I guess I just need to wait for this to finish and come back and check it in the morning. Yeah, the sun's almost down. Wow, that sounds weird. Well, that was a crack when it went in. That's not promising. Definitely sound different. Still break though. Hmm. Well, that one 
one's a little tougher. I'm gonna have to break it. The sound, uh, the sound on my video got messed up in the middle when I was taking the bowl pieces out. What I was saying there was, uh, I think I heated it up too fast and I needed to heat it up slower to get the moisture out of it before getting it really hot. Because when it popped, I heard it and it sounded like popcorn. You know, like moisture in there, <laughs> turned to steam and exploded. Um, and that did seem to make a difference with the bricks, which is why you know I, I put them in a really low fire for an hour before I actually fire them. So none of those exploded in the fire. They turned out not very strong, and there's a couple things going on here that I noticed right away. One is they have lots of bits, like little rocks and stuff. Um, so when it dried originally, it just left cracks everywhere. There were little rocks. Another thing is, there's a pretty big color variation. I'm guessing because heat variations. Okay, <clears throat> next thing I'm gonna try is take this, which has no little rocks in it, it's pretty pure clay. I'm gonna preheat it to get all the moisture out and you know cook it like I did those bricks and see if I can get it to not explode and, and come out all right. So why didn't I just start by uh, getting a bunch of instructions and following them to make sure I get this right? <clears throat> well, if I, if I read a bunch of instructions when I started, it would just be this big blob of information that didn't mean anything. And I could follow it to the letter and make something that works, but I wouldn't understand what's going on. Uh, so a lot of times when I'm trying to learn something new, first I just try some experimentation. And then my brain starts coming up with the questions. And then when I look up, do some research, and find the information, it just fills in the blanks of the questions I already have. And it makes so much more sense, and I understand what's going on. There, now this one's all shiny on the inside, too. Why do you think the other wool that we made exploded? Mm. Yaldish and Yawl? Why did these ones explode? I, maybe because they had too much moisture in them? Maybe if I put this out in the sun, it'll do better and heat it up with the fire. I don't know. The other ones didn't get, didn't get in the sun, though. Yeah, these ones, the like first ones we one, made. My cookie didn't. I know. These came out great. And, and we just threw them right in the fire. What, what do you think? The beads, I don't think they got in the sun. Me, though. So what was different about... What did you do to this clay? Uh, I put some leaves in it because it was cake dough. So it was Wait, you were making cake dough? What else did you put in it besides leaves? I don't know. Maybe sand? Can you make some more yeah. clay cake dough? Because, yeah. like, I just strained it and made it all pure and perfect and it exploded. I think your cake dough... I want to know what you're putting in your cake dough. Leaves, for sure. I don't remember the recipe. Well, do, do whatever, whatever you do for cake dough. Oh, I think we're onto something here. I knew I might have to add stuff to the clay to get it to work better. I didn't know I had an expert cake dough maker. But like this, this was one of the first things we tried and it is totally strong. And these, these two that I made with Aurora's cake dough clay batter, what do you call it? Cake dough clay batter? No, anyway, cake batter. Just cake batter? Anyway, these came out great too. So hopefully she can recreate that. Where'd you get the clay? From the pile that you took out to make the brick morning pie. That pile right there? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hmm. Are you putting all three of those things in? Just one. Oh, just one of those? Okay. Leaves. Leaves disappear now because they're all covered in mud, but they're still there. Do you think this is dry enough? Yeah. You think I can 
make stuff with it right now? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try my one bowl today. I'm preheating it on a stove on medium. It's about on medium. Ooh, that's hot, yeah. I just have a little grate here so it's not directly touching. All right, I got a little bed of coals down there. I think I want a bed of coals under it. I don't really know. But I'm just thinking when I fire the thing, I want some heat coming from under too, not just on the top. Just took this off the stove. It's pretty hot. Wow. That should be hotter than the stove was, so I'll let it soak in there for a while before lighting a fire. There's a bit of breeze coming in, so I put some broken brick pieces here. I knew they'd come in useful for something. Anyway, that'll keep wind from directly hitting the thing. Hopefully it'll go around. So I still want that to heat evenly. While all that's going on, I'm making new little test bits. I didn't relight it, just put a whole bunch of little sticks around the bowl and then some little bigger sticks on top of that and a little bigger, little bit bigger sticks on top of that and then waited and uh, maybe 20 minutes later it just spontaneously combusted itself. Alright, I'm being a little bit impatient here but during my tests I think I Leave it there for a little bit, slowly cool it off. Okay, from what I understand, if I tap this, it should make a ringing sound, and that means it's all strong and solid and intact. And if it makes a dull thud sound, that means it's no good. Ah, oh, it's a crack over there. That side's all good though. Oh, yep, yeah, there's a crack on this side. That's what it sounds like. Still, man, that's close. Yeah, I can see some cracks there. They don't go right through though. I can't see them on the inside. But I can see some hairline cracks that don't match up with those. Most of it's okay. This is the thickest part. Maybe that has something to do with it. Anyway, I'm getting close. I'm still using this. I'm calling this total usable. I wonder if some of that happened because I pulled it out of the coals too fast. All right, on, on the next one, I'm gonna try to keep my wall thickness even all the way around. I'm gonna preheat it like I did this one. And I'm just gonna leave it in there to cool off for hours as the, uh, the coals cool off. And so I remember, this one was pure clay, nothing mixed with it. This is clay from that pile over there, which a bunch of this ash mixed into it. And this here is Aurora's cake mix, or cake batter, whatever. This one does appear to hold water. Nice. The water does not appear to be soaking in either. Looks like my 
glazing technique worked, which was just, you know, rubbing with a rock and my finger. And then I wiped a little bit of ash on there. 